Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are headed over to Epcot for the day, which is very exciting. Also this morning I got up at 7 and I did secure as a boarding group for Guardians, which we haven't been on yet, so we are very, very excited. At the beginning of the trip, Lola and Rio had never really done roller coasters before, and because I've never been on it, I didn't know what to tell them whether they'd like it or not, but now that they've been on Rock and Roller Coaster and Space Mountain, I'm pretty confident that they'll be okay with it. So we are going to head on that pretty much first thing, as our boarding group has already been called, so we need to get going. I think the others are also almost about ready to leave, so hopefully we will get there on time. And then we're just going to try and get the things done we haven't done yet we haven't done spaceship earth we haven't done mission space and maybe a couple of other things so that is basically the plan for today finish off the things we haven't done this is these guys' last day at epcot it's currently saturday they leave on monday but don't worry there will be more a lot more vlogs to come because my mum's side of the family is flying out on monday when these guys leave and there will be two more weeks worth of vlogs coming very very soon and other than that let's go so the others have literally just arrived on their bus and it's 13 minutes until our pass runs out our boarding group for guardians of the galaxy so we need to get moving asap otherwise we're gonna miss it this rate. so we have officially made it including a toilet stop we got here on the minute 11 58 which was our closing minute we are now officially in the virtual queue so i will tell you guys how long it takes us to get through everything so we have gone in like the normal virtual queue rather than i don't know if there's like a das alternative but this is what we're doing happens through these doors but everyone's just getting sent down there so maybe it's not on or maybe nothing happens I have no idea we can yeah. see it yeah. that means we're near the front now this is it guys we're at the front I'm not gonna film the ride so I don't think you're allowed to but I will see you guys when we get out some reviews so we have survived looking a bit windswept that is crazy so we queued for 80 minutes but it did break so it could probably be close to an hour usually would highly recommend that was so fun what did you think well the rate out of 10 it, it was very good my eyes literally watered oh yeah my eyes are watering too i think it's seven and a half seven and a half out of ten what do you reckon Ray? Nine and a half, yeah, that's more like Actually, it. Yeah, nine, and a half. nine and a half. So we are now headed over to Lotus Blossom Cafe at the China Pavilion for some lunch. And then we're planning to go on Spaceship Earth because we haven't yet done that. And we have booked ourselves a DAS pass for it. Looks like the portions here are enormous. This is the vegetable stir fry. And this is the Mongolian beef with noodles and a spring roll up in here. It looks very, very good. So we are currently sat eating lunch, but there is a lot of loud thunder happening. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it on camera. So we might be hiding from a storm for a little while. Also, this food is amazing. I would say it easily takes third spot of everything we've eaten behind Morimoto Asia at Disney Springs and Docking Bay 7 at Hollywood Studios. This is definitely the third place. It's very, very good. And the portion is enormous. The rain has begun, so we may be staying here for a little while until it passes, hopefully. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it is mental out there. And Vicky and Rio have actually gone to find Rio some food, so hopefully they're okay. Rio's playing football with a rock and by himself, and there's no goal. He's just kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, time for Spaceship Earth. Let's go. This, nothing, nothing happens. We just, we just sit here and wait for it to carry on. I Yep. This is an alright one to stop in because it's not like scary or anything. Then we'll show you a new world. Come the main Earth what are you most interested in? Home, work, health or leisure? Leisure. Which sounds like more fun? Under the sea or outer space? Which type of person? Do you like to plan it or wing it? Which do I enjoy more? The journey or the destination? Where would you 
you like to live, the country or the city? What do you worry about, your pet or your house? How do you want to travel, solar or wind? We only have three seconds to spare. Here we go. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say... My eyes are short, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> the picture is too much. <laughs> we are now headed for mission space. I think we're gonna do the Earth mission and then if we like it, go on, on the Mars one because these guys haven't done anything like this before, I don't think. So we're going to start easy and work our way up, if we like it. And then we potentially want to do Club Cool again after this. We did it on our first day, but we haven't done it since, so we might head back there after this. Here we go! We literally waited for like one second for this. It said 10 minutes standby, but it wasn't. It was straight in. Let's do it! You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. Attention trainees. Here we go. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 trainer and begin boarding now. Store personal items in the compartment in front of you. Sit Send there, that's it. Pull down on their Just me and Lola in this one. So we've been on Mission Earth. We are now going back on onto Mission Mars. Everybody seems cool with it. Mission Earth is very chill. I don't think Mission Mars is. I think it's quite crazy, but we will see when we get off in a minute. Here we go, round two. Deja vu. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Store first items in the compartment is it? in front Let's of do you. It. So we've made it out of orange mission. Everybody made out alive. Nobody threw up. It is a bit wild though. I literally could have moved my arm and I was gripping onto Lola for dear life. We are now in um, this little kind of like the bit after the ride. There's like little things to do. There's like a little play area over there and then little games. We are then going to head to Club Cool and then we have gotten ourselves a DAS pass for test track after that. So it's very busy in here today because it's a Saturday. So I'm not really going to film anything. But if you are interested to see all our reactions and stuff, uh, make sure to go check out day one because we did like our whole in-depth review basically. Time for test track. Me and Lola are going together again to create our... I'm going to do a really cool challenge. Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, our one last time was very good. Go on. Yeah. Sculpt. Ooh, pointy. Wait, hang on, hang on, not yet. Length. Super long. Nice. Width. Super skinny. I think it should be. Ooh, that's gonna be massive. Ah, either's good. Either. Engine. Up here. Electric. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Face. So now you can change how it looks. Ooh, groovy. Graphics. Stars or stripes or fire. Ooh, that doesn't really match. You want it? Wheels. Size. Oh, make them either tiny or massive. Hang on, I think it's. It's up here. Make them massive, that's well funny. Yeah! Accessories. <laughs> this is even better than last time. Why am I crying at this? 48. 45. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we're gonna win this time, aren't we? Inside test track. This is these guys. Here we go. <laughs> Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicle comes to their efficiency. Take that. Systems analysis. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. Calculating total. Oh, we're not even on that. Oh, no, we are. Second again. They were first. Nice. Automated crash avoidance technology disengaged. Third. 
they want to go back on test track because Rio was not happy with this car I don't know what happened but he had a little bit of a moment so they've gone back on that but I decided I would head to the DVC lounge before it shuts in like half an hour hopefully I'll be able to get in just on my own uh, grab a drink and a snack and then I'll be going back to meet those guys and we'll maybe hopefully get on Ratatouille we did have a DAS pass booked for it but we swapped it for test track so they could go on it again so hopefully we'll get another pass for that I don't know if those guys will be wanting to stay for the fireworks, but I probably will because I've only seen them once myself. So I just arrived and I said, um, have you got any availability? And they said we're on a wait list. I literally wait for like 20 seconds. They were like, yep, you can go up. So maybe it's because I'm on my own, I don't know. But that was very quick and I'm very impressed. It is still only 5.32, so I have 28 minutes to enjoy the lounge. I can charge my phone, grab a drink, get a snack, and then I will head back and meet the others. Okay, so they usually have snacks over here, but there are no snacks. I'm gonna dra grab a drink though. They have Coca-Cola freestyle machines, which is very good. I feel like it's a Fanta Zero type of situation. So I've just had a lovely little moment in the DVC lounge. I got myself a couple of Fanta Zeros. They did refill the snacks after a couple of minutes, but it was all Doritos nacho cheese, so obviously that was not for me. I'm now just having a little look around the creations shop while I wait for the others to come out of test track. This is something that I haven't noticed yet. It looks like it's been redrawn. I think there did used to be a park somewhere around here, but there is a little park. It's kind of between the creations shop and the side of test track. So if you have little kids that kind of need a break or something from like the rides and can just run around a little bit, that is somewhere to go. It says it's for children ages 5 to 12, so it's pretty decent. But there seem to be a lot of younger kids in there too. So we're just making a pit stop at the Belgium kiosk or whatever you want to call it on the World Showcase. It is between Morocco and France and Rhi and Lola are getting a Belgian waffle. Again, Rio's for the second time. Nice and Lovely. Bloody lovely. <laughs> the difference between Rio eating it and Lola. <laughs> the sensible version. <laughs> the crazy version. Nice, we'll what is it? Mashed potato? Oh, nice. Okay. Time for Ratatouille. This will probably be our last ride of the day, and then I think we're just going to head around the world showcase, grab a couple of more bits to eat, and then these guys are going to leave, head back to the resort, and I'm going to stay for the fireworks, I think, unless the weather turns bad. I will just about catch the fireworks before I grab the books back to the hotel. So this is the vegan option. It is a burger of the description, but I think the bread is like toasted garlic, which sounds very nice and it comes with fries. And then this is the, what was it? Beans with beef or something? Burnt end beans or something. Burnt end beans. Don't know what that means, but it looks pretty good to me. We 
couple is looking absolutely stunning as always. I'm now headed back to the resort. I don't think this has ever happened. Maybe I was just really fast, but there's literally one other person at the bus stop. I ran fast so I didn't miss it. But this is very good because now I'm not going to have to wait for ages to try and get a bus back. I didn't go on Frozen Ever After in the end because it felt like it was too close to the fireworks and I didn't want to miss it. The others did go on and they didn't watch the fireworks. Um, but I just sat and watched it. If you noticed at the end of the clips, I was in a different location. I was kind of walking back to the start so that I could get a head start on the buses, hence the empty bus stop situation. And I realised it's actually a big screen in the middle of like the circle thing. So if you stand, I'm assuming either at the beginning, like where Port of Entry the shop is, or on the opposite side where the American Pavilion are, there's like a bigger screen that you can see that you can't see on the sides and I didn't actually know about this. I mean, it's still good without it, but it's just like an extra point if you are wanting to get like the best possible view, that's probably where you want to stand. Um, the bus thing, I think I was just super speedy because by the time the bus left, it was full of people. So I don't know about that. But anyway, it meant I got a seat. I was very pleased about that. Also, if this is the only, just in case this is the only video of mine you watch, um, they do actually shoot fireworks out at the very edge of the lake during Harmonious right near the end. So if you have children or you personally are scared of fireworks or like don't like them being really close to you, then don't sit like too close to the lake because they shoot out from like right the edges of the lake. We noticed that last time and I was very surprised. So that's just like a warning just in case because I wouldn't want people to not know about it and then end up in some kind of a situation. We are headed to Magic Kingdom tomorrow. It is those guys' last proper day before they fly home. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss all of this future content coming very, very soon. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye!